Okay, on this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change a thermostat on your 305.5E CAT, the CR. This is a 2015, what we got is it's been overheating. Um, first thing that I would recommend is you have, is to flush your cooler. This is your, your uh, engine cooler and this is your hydraulic cooler. And this is all this little machine has. It's a very small cooler. So you can do it with two ways. You can do it with water. I would mostly recommend air in case it's so plugged that you use high pressure water. Um, water can also cause mud and as that mud dries, it can also block this up. So I would recommend using air first. And if not, then you can sit here with the hose and flush this with the hose. So, and that is your, your hydraulic cooler as well. I recommend doing them both at the same time. So first things first, um, this here, that's what I would do first. Uh, run it, test it, make sure that it's still not overheating. The other thing that I do, wait for it to cool off, so this is a morning before this is ran, is I'm gonna change the thermostat in this because it's been overheated once. Usually once a machine gets overheated, it will actually burn up the thermostat. And so I recommend if you ever have any machines at all that overheat once, uh, it's going to keep doing it again and again and again and generally it's because the thermostat gets stuck closed after it has been boiled um, Or it's gotten hot. So first things first make sure that this is cold um, To the touch before you open it. You're going to twist and pop this open um, And you're going to leave it that way and then we're going to come over here This is how we change the thermostat out the thermostat sits right back here now don't let that bother you, it's actually super easy, okay? There's uh, three bolts that hold this little hood on. This is gonna be the first thing I'm gonna move out of the way. It just takes a couple of, uh, it probably takes like two minutes or so to get that off. And there's a bolt here that you undo, right there for that lid, right here and right here, okay? And those are 16 inch millimeter, or 16 millimeter sockets. That'll come off set that out of the way now what we got to do while we're at this point was you got to remove this air intake hose we're just going to unscrew it right here go ahead and wiggle and we're going to pop that off i like to bend it up out of the way make sure that this does not crack and break inspect that afterwards um, this right here is your fan shroud these are 13 millimeter we can take those off you don't have to unscrew them all the way you just actually half screw them okay and this thing you can leave them in There'll be three of those and that comes right off. Now we can see it a little bit better. Okay, it's up in here. So what I wanna do is go ahead and zip tie this out of the way. We're gonna get a screwdriver and loosen that up and pull that up. And then these right here are 12 millimeter. There's one there and there is one right there. And we're gonna undo those. I've already undone them for the sake of this video. And I'll get to that point and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I went ahead and zip tied the air hose out of the way here, uh, the intake hose, and I took the coolant hose, you can see it right up back here, and I just wrapped it in right here out in the fan, just kind of out of the way here. So now I can access this with my socket. I can get in here with my 12 millimeter and I can break them. Uh, very easy. Go ahead and just take this off. As I pull that off, I'm gonna show you something. So as we pull this off, I would highly, highly recommend changing this gasket right here. Anytime you do a thermostat, you're gonna to wanna to change this gasket. Okay, so there's the old one. This, I keep that assembly right here. Here's your thermostat. Just gonna grab it and lift up. If it doesn't come out, you might need to use just a screwdriver and pry it out. So there's the old thermostat. And here is your parts for a new one. They call them regulators. Okay, there's your part for this 305 5E2. This is 2015. It might vary, but I think it's gonna be pretty much the same thermostat, and there's your gasket. Okay. I'll pull this out. I always like double checking and making sure it's the exact same one. So you can go ahead and put that back into its hole. There is no slot or anything just make sure it's down in the groove but there's no way that that's 
it's supposed to sit and twerk, uh, with it with it being on just pop it down into that recessed hole and then install your gasket and you put our gasket on right here and set everything back in and put it all back in the way that it was uh, and then what I would do what I usually like recommending is carrying universal 50 50 antifreeze on you um, so when we got that all back in we'll we'll top this off with antifreeze all the way to the top uh, put the lid back on run it and test it uh, you might need to in a minute after you've ran it to let this cool off again and check pop that cap off and check when it's cool and make sure your your fluid levels are at the top again so again i'd recommend universal 50 50. Um, we run it in a bulk with our lube truck sam right there in a lube truck and that has universal 50 50 because every machine is a little different we run cat komatsu and volvo and uh, we use that for all sorts of our stuff so i like adding and mixing it with other coolant um, never had any issues with it in 10 years so that's what I'd recommend keeping on hand but if you want to use the cats uh, coolant uh, you're more than welcome to again this is uh, this is a pretty quick job it would take about a half hour to do um, especially watching this video it, it just helps you get long get get done quicker so go ahead and like and subscribe uh, leave comments or if you have any questions I'd appreciate it. Thank you.